Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. It feels like deja vu because this happened yesterday with the Quantum Mania trailer because it leaked a little earlier online. I think they were planning obviously to release it yesterday officially, but it leaked early and they put the trailer out I think at noon yesterday. And now it happened again with the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special because it leaked a little bit earlier today and now James Gunn, the director of course of all the Guardians films and of course the holiday special has officially released the holiday special trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't think they were planning on releasing it today. I'm not 100% sure because they just put out the Quantumania trailer yesterday, so I'm not really sure. But as of right now, as of recording this video, this is not on YouTube officially yet in terms of the HD official upload. I think it's been uploaded to YouTube, but it really shouldn't be because it's leaked. But regardless, uh, this is on Twitter, so I had this pulled up on Twitter. I normally never do this, but since it's nowhere officially on YouTube at this moment, I had to pull up on Twitter. So... I'm interested in this. I'm curious to see what this is all about. Now, based off this little uh, shot here, I'm assuming it's going to be that spe special presentation, same thing that they did with Werewolf by Night. And we've been hearing, since Werewolf by Night was actually really well received, that Marvel might be moving more of their series at like you know down the road, so that may, may or may not have been announced at this point, but they may start going the more route of doing special presentations versus series, because special presentations take shorter time to shoot, and way less time to, you know, go through all the pre-production, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's not six episodes or, like, She-Hulk, nine episodes. It's going to be potentially easier to do special presentations, like a short film, essentially roughly around an hour, versus six episodes of a show, or nine, depending on the format, or whatever, per episode. So, let's get into now, guys. Let's check this out and see what they show us here with the holiday special in regards to Carnage and the Galaxy. I've been interested in this since they announced this, so... Let's dive in, let's see what they do with it, guys. Let's go. First trailer. I like that logo thing. It's cool. They just saw oh, the music. That right now on Earth, it's almost Christmas time. We don't have yep. time for trivialities like Christmas. But Peter's so sad about Gamora being gone. Well, clearly you're... Oh, I like that. Maybe the lights. Maybe to Earth for a really wonderful Christmas gift. It would make him happy. Oh, okay. They're on Earth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Was that Groot? Someone special. Someone special? We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary oh my God. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> really? <laughs> Your voice is small and mousy. I think maybe he didn't hear you. Oh my God, Kevin Bacon. Come with us. A oh my god. <laughs> wow. Cosmo. Root. And it's just a Kevin Bacon. <laughs> That's awesome. So we don't have to wait till Guardians 3 to get introduced to Cosmo. That's freaking cool that Cosmo's in this. I, I Probably not a big role, but uh, it's cool that we're getting Cosmo, the character in general in the MCU. It's kind of crazy. Kevin Bacon? <laughs> I don't remember, like, was there, like, an announcement that Kevin was going to be in this? I don't even remember, but this was great. <laughs> They're going to go get Kevin Bacon for Star-Lord, because to try to cheer him up. And so, apparently he's upset. He's upset, because Gamora. Understandable, and I feel like Guardians 3 is about them trying to find Gamora, and then a bunch of other stuff, of course, Adam Warlock and all that, so, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on. But, the, <laughs> of course... Drax and Mantis, their whole plan is we're going to go to Earth, we're going to party and drink and all the shit as we saw, and then they're going to get Kevin Bacon. They're going to get Kevin Bacon to make Star-Lord happy. <laughs> to try to make him happy. <laughs> this was good. It's a good first teaser. I don't think we need to see any more. I feel like this is good. We don't need to see a teaser or another trailer. Let's just watch the thing when it comes out. You know what I'm saying? Let's just wait for it to come out. Because I feel like with... Werewolf by Night, they just put out that first teaser at D23, and then they just released it. So I feel like we don't need <laughs> we don't need another trailer. This is good in terms of setting up. Groot looks kind of interesting. I'm not sure what's going on with Groot's look in here, but uh, it was cool to see that everyone has some sort of involvement in uh, this holiday special. Because there was, I, I guess, like some sort of rumor or some sort of report that uh, only certain characters are part of the Guardians were going to be appearing, not everybody. It seems like all of them appear it's for some capacity, so that's good. So, uh, yeah, overall, good teaser. Can't wait for the holiday special. What did you guys think of the trailer? I'm curious to know your thoughts, guys. Whatever thoughts you have, please let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.